Hello and welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Sushma Reddy. In this video, we will see how to update a B2B workflow parameter using web services. Let's directly go to the demo. To achieve this, you would need to have a Power Center hub, web service hub created in the Power Center Administrator Console. So I already have a hub being created. So this will be the URL and these are a few basic information. Now, once the hub is being created, you need to go to the data exchange console where you will be pro configuring the web services hub related information under the system properties. So system properties will be under that. This is the DX console. So under administration, you'll be having system properties. And there's a segment where you need to provide the power center information. So that will be power center domain gateway, domain name, a repository, and the web services URL, which will be similar to what is being created at the informatica level. So this will be my URL, and the same is being provided in the system properties. Once you have the web service hub being created and the information is being configured under system properties, you need to create a simple workflow which will update the B2B parameter by web services. So I already have a sample mapping being created. If you don't have one, you can have one imported from the DX installation directory. So under the installation directory, Power Center Web Services, there are few sample uh, workflows which are related to web services to achieve this you can import this into the power center since i have one already been created i'm using it so with this workflow you need to enable this to you need to expose this to web services hub so to expose it go to workflows edit and you need to in the web services segment you need to enable this and you need to configure the service name this will put the name provided uh, will be viewed at the web services hub level and you can associate it this to the hub which you are using once you have your workflow being created the next will be you need to have your profile being created to run the job so before creating a prof profile you need to have the workflow being imported so the workflow which is being created at the power center level need to be exported from the repository manager and then been imported into the profile. So I already have performed this action where I have exported and uh, Im imported into the profiles. So this is the workflow which I've imported. Say for example, if you are trying to import it for the first time, then you need to click on new workflow, provide the name and application is your requirement because I don't have any application, I'm doing it as none and this is a real time workflow and you need to provide the location where the workflow has been exported. Okay, this is the workflow which have been imported and this is the name, the real time, and the location where the workflow has been imported from. So once the workflow has been imported, next is to create the profile to run the job. So again, this is also being created uh, for the for creating a profile newly. Again, click on new profile, provide the names as your requirement and partner if required account and you need to select the workflow which is being used for this to achieve this so again i have one being created this is the profile and profile name i'm not using any partner and account and i'm going to select the workflow which has been used in my environment here I'm enabling this workflow and these are the parameters which I would be updating in the through the run of the power.
when you have all the profile and workflow being created then go to power center administrator console and launch the web services url so when you click on this link it opens a new window which is web services url so this is having real time and batch web services up we are going to use the real time web services up in this you have two segments that is valid web services and invalid web service so valid you need to verify in which segment your web services process is coming so if it comes under invalid web service up you need to modify your web services workflows so that it becomes valid and you can be seeing it here i see my web services is already valid i can actually see, you can see it here the service name is simple map and that's the name what i have been provided so workflow edit Web services configured. So this is the name service name I provided. So once it is valid, you will be seeing it in the console over here. Select the one and provide the SOAP response. And now provide the values that shall be collected from the DX console. So I'll be doing an update operation. I need to provide the profile name which you can take it from the DX console. The workflow name should be the same as provided in the DX console. Status is enabled. The parameter I which I would like to update will be account ID. So I'll be using account ID. And the value which I would like to update is account ID. And the value will be 30. If you see, I already have the value as 20. I would like this to be updated as 30. Once you have been provided the workflow parameters which you need to update, click on send. This will trigger the workflow in the power center end. And you can see the response here. So the status is success. The SOAP response will be provided here. You can verify for timing what is the value being updated. So account ID is already been updated with 30. So let's go to DX console and verify if it is been updated. We need to do a refresh. So let me click on profiles once again. And you can see the account ID value has been updated. So this is how you can achieve updating and workflow parameter in the DX console via Web Services Hub. You have also have a reference of this KB article where which provides a similar information with the steps. Thanks for listening. And please provide your feedback. We would like to hear from you. You can provide your feedback in support videos at informatica.com or tweet us at twitter.com info support. And you can also provide your feedback in YouTube user info support. Thank you.